sort of lightning player in the new and improved awards program thing. So today, let's just sort of take a look at some names. I have a tier list of names who I think will be possibilities, who just got cards, who probably won't be, and some who might be if they're feeling a little bit spicy. So we're going to go through all of it and sort of figure out the reasons yes or no, why, why not, or if they're going to th throw us for a loop. So if you leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, because it's time for some reckless speculation. Let's do it. So if you look down below here on our good old tier list here, there are 15 guys, and we're kind of going to go through them all and sort of see. So some guys got... The list is going to range like this, a definite possibility, maybe, just got a card, the spicy pick, and no. I'm, to, to be fair, I'm, no might not even be full. I just want to put it there just in case we sort of look at it and say, yeah, you know, it could be a thing. Now, ultimately, there are some cards on here because that were kind of just added um, in, like, Juan Soto, Mason Miller just got lightning charges, so did Aaron Noah, but I was looking at the broader picture and some stuff wasn't really that great for him. But these are all the guys who, according and according to... I, I'm using fantasy stats. The reason why I'm using fantasy stats is my league looks at average, OB, uh, on base plus slugging, all that stuff. So we're kind of looking at a broader picture, not necessarily like squeezing it down to the narrow, narrow, but we can kind of use that as sort of a metric and a tool to kind of see um, maybe where some of these guys are going to be. So we're kind of... I sort of just randomly threw the, all these guys. I, I looked through these guys in a folder, so this is where we're going to go. So we're going to start with Shohei Otani and all that fun stuff. Shohei Otani's been an absolute on a tear lately. Just disgusting. His numbers are absolutely filthy. We know what Shohei Otani's going to do. And if you're living under a rock here, I have to look at some of my phone because of how I'm doing this. Uh, but looking at his stats, the last, basically over the last. Let's say the last month here, he's got he's he's got eight home runs, twenty RBI, seven stolen bases while bat, having a slash line of three seventy nine, four fifty nine, and six ninety five. Now, ultimately, when it comes to sort of, I, I I guess the broadity of this, and normally, I I think in this scenario, I normally I would say it's probably not gonna happen, but I'm going to say is, I think it's a definite possibility here. And the biggest reason I'm saying it's a definite possibility here is I want to point I want to point this one thing out, and I don't think this is necessarily indicative of something, but I want to make I I I'm only putting this out as a point because they did it with Mike Trout. The only card we have for Shohei Otani right now is this live series card that's ranging almost 150k. You know, not a lot of people are gonna have it. Now, granted, you can make the argument that we could that he did get a tops and out card that was free, but that card really wasn't that great. Now, comparing, now looking at his live series here, um, one of the one of like th this is his live series number. Are they going to give him a 99 that would surpass this? Now, granted, you could make the argument that hey, he's already boosted to a 96. Are they really going to release a 99 Otani at this point? They might, strictly as an offensive player, as a DH with an outfielder. They kind of already did that, but again, it was a lower card that players could use. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I think it, it very well could happen. They did it last year. Granted, it was in June, June or July, not May. But with the season ending, would it make sense to give him kind of a taste of the Ot of a better Otani card that ultimately could be well carded? I, I think it's possible, and again, we're looking at him strictly from a hitting standpoint. Kind of like the DH card, which truthfully, possibly, maybe could be a better way to go about it here. If we kind of, let me look. If we kind of go, if we do an actual, like, search. I did a search. His, his other card didn't come up. Oh, because he's not sellable. But if we look at, like, a similar card to his DH card, I got to pull this up here. If you look at the free-to-play Otani, like, this card really wasn't exciting. It was a discounted version, 8193, didn't get the boost. It really didn't hit on any team except for the Dodgers theme team. But again, this card was given out so early in the year. It was the first drop that, realistically, yeah, I could see them dropping a free 99 one. But again, how much does this sing you singular card actually matter at the end of the day? A, a lot, not a lot. I don't know. I think he's. It's a definite possibility, strictly because one, they they're gonna give it to somebody. Why not give it to the best player in the league? 
argumentably. He's on an absolute tear, mind you. Does it make a lot of sense? Yeah, I honestly, to me, I would say sure, it makes a lot of sense. Do I see them hap? Do I see them actually doing it though? You know, I there's a, again, it sort of comes down to what do we, what do the, what do we think they're going to do ultimately as things sort of go on? Because again, this thing's only going to be used for a couple of weeks, so it really just comes down to. How do you think they're going to value this and how they're going to look at something else? Really, that's what it comes down to. But again, I think he's a definite possibility. Moving on to player number two here. He's also been hitting the piss out of all. This is Kyle, Kyle Tucker. Now, the funny thing about Kyle Tucker, and I'm sort of going to give it away here, but let's take a let's read off what his numbers are for the last month here. Uh, last month, he's got 18 runs, 9 home runs, 16 RBS, 5 stolen bases, with a slash line of 286, 423, 660, and uh, a 667. Now, here's the funny thing, and he's going to be the first one where I think this is where it's going to be. He just got a card. Now, granted, is that card really that old? No. Is it really that expensive of a card? Again, no. But I do think that's going to play into it a little bit here, which I think is slightly unfortunate for him. But again... I think it's just a matter of... I think timing a lot of times in these things is what kills a lot of things. And unfortunately, when you don't have a crystal ball, um, this is kind of what ultimately happens. And I'm sort of... I, I'm in this boat, and let's take a look at the card here. Bam! It's his 96 card. Uh, 90, 91, 115, 109. Um, from the Mexico series. Now again, is this card the greatest card in the world? No, not barely by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a 96, and it's a kind of affordable 96. Now, do I think play guys, players and are going to be running out to get this card? Probably not. Let's keep it a buck 50. Probably not. But again, do I see them sort of raising him to a 9? Do I see them doing something where he's going to get a 99? Again, not... I, truthfully, it... I, it wouldn't blow my mind, but the reason why I'm putting him in he just got a card is kind of for that reason. Is I don't think they're going to necessarily slam you with cards, especially like repeat cards, because that happened last year. I think they kind of just picked the series and said he was one of the better players. I Truthfully, if we're looking at this card, what would we see differently for it? Maybe a little bit of a boost, but I do think this card sort of eliminates him from contention for that second diamond which is kind of unfortunate i think but again i think weirder things happen but i do think that's going to be the case here into the third player here this is going to be the interesting as, as i put it the first one of a category uh that i like to call <laughs> if uh <laughs> the spicy pick and that's good old uh eric fetty and the reason why i'm saying this could be a spicy pick is I'm just going to read off his pitching numbers here. In the last month, he's got four wins uh, with 36 strikeouts, an ERA of 1.93, and a whip of 0.914 quality starts. The reason why I'm like, ah, oh, this could be a spicy pick is, well, it could be. It, honestly, if you were to drop that, I I think it'd be, it'd be hilarious. It'd be one of those things where it's like, wow, White Sox fans, look at you. Because you want to know his only, <laughs> you want to know what the only card this guy has? Yeah, let me pull. Give me one second here. We're gonna pull it up. But his numbers translate really, really well. He hasn't had another card anywhere, um, anywhere else by far. And here's his card, by the way. If you're sort of like, well, what's he got so far? Yeah, let me show you. He's a 68 overall <laughs> with the slurve, with the sinker, slurve, cutter, and a change. Does this light anyone's world on fire? Probably not, and it definitely should. And his numbers are good enough for something. So it. Do I? I don't know if they're necessarily going to pick a picture, but I'm just going to say this: he's the first terms in the ones of that's a spicy pick because that would be something if they really did. And his numbers, I think, quantify well enough to be someone that's on the radar. To, truthfully, I mean, granted, there's. I, I'm going to say this in terms of the guys who also fit this. I didn't put him on here. But Reese Olsen's another one where it's like it'd be a spicy pick, and I think he needs to be on the radar here. He is the guys. The, the problem is he has no wins, but his ERA is two is 
2.09, and his whip is under one at 1.9 at 9.99. 9, 9. So again, spicy pick. It's just he's got no runs of work. But I did want to make the point of like Reese Olsen, definitely on there. But Eric Fetty, definitely I say is the first one on the uh, ye old. It could be a little bit of spicy, spicy pick is good old Ranger Suarez. And we're just going to state this. I He just got a card and I think, again, this is the timing of the oopsie doopsies uh, sort of situation, which I I think is a little bit unfortunate. But at the end of the day, it's just uh, well, what you going to do about that? And and that's like he, his top now card's not terrible. To be honest with you, I don't think... I think it was a 93. But again, sort of looking at, like, the tops, sort of like the top pitching and stuff, let's just... Let's read off his numbers and see why he would qualify for this. Seven wins in the... Uh, five wins in the month. An ERA under one at 0 0.97. A whip of 0 0.73. And uh, five quality starts. All of those starts wins. And in terms of what he brings to the table here, let's pull up the, let's pull, let me pull him, uh, let me pull him up here really quick. Um, but again, he just got a card again. How much do I think this is going to play? I couldn't tell you. His card right now is a 93. And here, let's take a look at it here. Um, here's his card. It's a 93 sinker curve, four seam circle and a cutter. Is there anything here that I would change? I mean, you could boost it a little bit to a 99, but again, this is from the 18th, 16th, I think, I think it says a 16. So this isn't, this is last month. It's about cards about a month old. I mean, could they change something? It's entirely possible. 1000% it's entirely possible. I mean, heck, if we're talking, mind you, we're talking, the numbers we're looking at are from basically to the 15th to the 15th so this card fits in that time frame it's when he kind of probably got started going um they could do something like this again i'm going to put him the same rental style cucker where the poor guy just got a card and i think that's going to sort of establish where we're gonna go could they do it absolutely a thousand percent these tops now cards they're kind of pushed down a little bit and overall so i think guys like same thing with shohei Otani. i think guys that kind of got this treatment are there but i don't know how far back they're gonna go that's why if you're if you're sort of like well why why show you a tani definite possible event on ranger suarez at their tops now ranger suarez's card is a month old show Tani's card is almost two months old probably more it was the first week of the season so uh, that's the only thing i'm saying would it realistically would it shock me if he got it probably not but again i don't necessarily know how they're basing this off of that's why it's like cards that are older I'm more lenient. I'm more lenient to say they're likely to get a boost at a card that's within a month. But again, it's one of those weird things. Where it's like even on the market, it's dropping in price. It's not necessarily like swaying one way or the other. So it, it's very is the possibility there a thousand percent? Do I could they give him a plus six card? Yeah, but again, it sort of comes down to well, we want players to get the card, and I don't necessarily know if he's going to be that exciting, especially with the fix mix. But again. He just got a card. I think that eliminates him, but not not 1,000% like fully eliminates him. I think this one, this guy is going to be in an interesting spot because I see it going two ways. And the reason why I'm going to put him in a definite possibility, Brent Rooker, is because they didn't do really much of anything with him. If I recall, I'm probably wrong, but I want to make this, make this point that in the last month, uh, Brent Rooker here has 19 runs, 8 home runs, 23 RBIs. He's batting a scorching 435, slugging is 848, and on base percentage of 509. And again, when it comes to some of these guys, it sort of comes down to, well, what are you doing for me? Now, granted, Brent Rooker did get a finest card last year, and he did get a player of the month card, too. And he's not the only A's on this list if you look sort of down here. But again, the only card Brent Rooker has on here is going is his live series card and let's take a gander at his live series card look at that he's playing down they could one i could see it 1000 percent giving him a card you um is is something that boosts and i think this one is it's sort of the same thing like ranger suarez but ranger suarez has a diamond burton roker has nothing i don't even recall them supercharging him which is 
interesting. Like I said, they could have, and I just don't recall. But, again, they didn't do anything with him. I think it's definitely a possibility. Is he the exciting pick? Maybe. I think Basel fans would like it, but again, it's sort of like how... It has to be worth it. I think that's sort of the problem, but I played him in definite possibility because I don't think they can kind of ignore this. He could be in the pack, probably in the pack. That's what I should have done. I should have had a category that said pack. I think he's going to get a 99 potentially in the pack. I don't even realistically, but I don't necessarily see how this is going to go. But I do think he's war his, his stats warrant something, and the fact that he's only a bronze definitely says something, and I think that's going to be a definite possibility. So that's why he's there. Keep an eye on this. Next one up. I, I don't know how I necessarily feel about this. But he's going to definitely be in. He, I think he's going to be in the category of maybe. And that's Bryce Harper. Last month, he's batting 309 with six home runs, 17 runs, 22 RBIs with a slugging of 568 and an on base of 447. I think he's going to be a maybe. The, reason, the biggest reason I think he's going to be a maybe is I... We haven't seen a lot of <laughs> we haven't seen a lot of like a good Bryce Harper card and they usually come out later in the year and he just got a free like 93 or 94 um, card I want to say to be honest with you I know he, like a second half card not too terribly long ago let's I'll pull it up right now but ultimately again we kind of I think we did get a Bryce Harper card too not too long ago but let's take a so there's two Bryce Harper cards we're gonna take a look at both of them right here right now um so this is the 90 overall second half one I we can kind of exclude this one I think these don't really make a difference they're not usually over exciting they're just BR cards uh second half card it's slightly better than this live series um there his live series card by the way this is a live series card. It's an 86. He's boosted to an 89. Could I see them giving it to him? Yeah, I think Bryce Harper is a name that would definitely pull pull guys and want to have them do the program. I think it's a big enough name. The reason why I'm saying maybe is I think ultimately there are better cards. But again, I think his numbers warrant at least being on the list. And that's really it. But again, it's not in this. It's not like an Otani situation. It's not really a Brent Rooker situation where it's like the numbers are eye popping. They're good numbers. It's definitely a possibility. It it, it feels weird because I would say normally if this was like a full program, I would say yeah, Bryce Harper one thousand percent is going to get a card. I don't know right now. I just wanted to sort of just throw it out there and just be like yeah, it's a possibility. Is it likely? Probably not. Absolutely, probably not. But again, they could do it. Who knows? Jumping down here, I this is another one for the old spicy pick aisle, and that's good old Dylan Cease. Dylan Cease has sort of turned it around a little bit. Not the strongest, but in the last month he's got four wins, 48 strikeouts, 2.580 area whip under one at, at 0 0.76. Uh, and all that fun stuff. Now, I do believe Dylan Cease did get a... Uh, did get a card. Let's. I believe I could be wrong here. I believe he was in a pack earlier. We will give me a second here. But ultimately, I. Regardless, it was an early pack, and I think his numbers might warrant something. But again, the reason why I'm saying, oh, it would be the spicy pick is ultimately. The reason why I'm saying it would be a spicy pick is be. Oh, he didn't. Um is it would just be different but i don't necessarily see them wanting to do all this grinding for a pitcher but again we've been shocked before but it would be a spicy pick same thing with eric feedy um his is a gold however four seam slurp knuckle curve and a circle change i don't necessarily again it's one of those things where like could they bump it to a 99 yeah i think it's he's done enough he might actually go diamond maybe this update but and i don't even know what's the market let's take a look at the stocks yeah they sort of see the same thing i am um it could be. I don't necessarily know. I I, I, I personally love Dylan Cease cards. I think they're really, really good. So it's possible. But again, are they going to want to put a diamond, a 99 free-to-play diamond as a pitcher? You know, who knows? Again, the biggest thing we have to look at is we have to sort of see, like, would you want to do that? Would you want to play those moments and collect it? It's possible. But again, there's a chance. And also, too, and I and I this slip, just, I just recognize this right now. There's probably going to be two 99s in that pack. You're good, or there's two 99s you're probably gonna get the free one you're gonna get from completing it, and then the, the full collection. So, really, they could do a pitcher and a hitter 
where it could be a Dill T and Eric Feedy as the 99 for the program, and then the hitter is the 99, which is a little bit better. That's also a possibility, but again, I would say ultimately this sort of feels like it could be the spicy pick. But we'll see. Again, throw this number on the radar, but I think it would ultimately be the spicy pick. Shoveling down here, I think this is a definite one of the man got a card and it's too new. And that's Alex Bohm, who's been hitting and pissing the ball every time he sees it. His slash line right now is in the month. He's gotten uh, three home runs, 25 RBIs, batting 386 with a 427 on base and the slugging is 614. But he just got a tops now card literally not too long ago. So I think he's going to that, 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 that's all, folks. I think that's really where he's going to lie. So if you're kind of excited thinking, oh, maybe we were going to get a good old faction Alec, Alec Bohm card, um, I don't think so. I, again, it, I could be wrong, but I think the fact that he got one not too terribly long ago kind of eliminates him. Um, it was a 92. Here's his card, and this is the card that I think kind of removes him from it. Here you go. Bada bing, bada boom. I think this sort of eliminates it. I Again, I think it's a little bit unfortunate because he would have been a fun card to get. But again, he just got this card not too long ago. It's literally, it, well, actually, it was a month ago. It's sort of the same thing as Ranger Suarez. I don't necessarily know if they're going to do it, but I think it's in the same vein that it's just not going to happen. Not because he's not good enough, but because... They gave out a car already. Again, it's low diamond, but I don't necessarily see how they value. We we haven't seen necessarily like a value for pack diamonds where they recycle. And again, I think people got very annoyed last year at the Kyle Schwarber stuff. But I'm sorry, Philly fans. Uh, I just don't see it. I'm sorry. But he, trust me, if they want to give a boost card, I wouldn't say no. Jumping on down here, he just got supercharged today, and that is Juan Soto. I will read the numbers, but I think it's def. I. I'm saying maybe, and the reason why I'm saying maybe, it's sort of the same thing with Bryce Harper. I think they're big enough names to get people to lock in, but I'm kind of wondering if they're going to lean more towards the waiting game here. But let's take a look at what Juan Soto has done. Last month, he's hitting 294 with the sl his slash line 294, 529 slugging, 378 on base. He's gotten six home runs, 19 RBIs. Again, sort of similar there. He has a 90 overall card. Juan Soto does, but he and he also just got supercharged today, so we you can kind of look at that and we can just take honestly that's probably we let's just let's do that. You know what we're gonna do here? We're gonna look at let's look at him. Let's look at his supercharged card instead of his ninety. But here's a supercharged card because I think this really would be it if he was doing it. So um, here's a supercharged card. This is his, let's say this is the ninety nine stats. So he'd have one ten hitting. 102 power against their contact versus left 109 power versus right uh one one i i'm just throwing me off so it's over 100 right or just on i whatever he's gonna have over 100 right i think right i think it says there. oh it says right there 110 109 102 98 so realistically i think that would be the 99 card but i think this is one of those weird situations where like another like you see all these guys like Mason Miller would be a card I think would be spicy but he got a he got a card early on. I can see it. The reason why it's sort of like Bryce Harper is would they do it now or would they wait? I think they would wait because they kind of know like guys they can just sort of give good better cards to at the end. But we'll definitely see, but I think if they did those would be around the numbers you see right there on your screen. Definite maybe. I think he's a card that would let that people would want and would grind for him. a thousand fifty percent. But again, I think it's just a maybe. We'll see because I I, I think there <laughs> there are better cards on the list. But like I said, I think he's got a decent enough shot. Absolutely, one thousand percent. Sliding on here, Hunter uh, Gunner Henderson. I think's a definite possibility. And the, the thing about Gunner is he has no other card so far other than his live series, I want to say. And the man's been hitting the piss out of the ball for a freaking while. Uh, there's also one other guy who I think has been doing it well. But here's his his average isn't what I thought it was in the month. He's got nine home runs, 17 RBIs, hitting 260 with the 6 of 6 slugging and a 663 on base percentage. But again, the biggest thing 
to kind of keep in mind here is he has no other cards other than his life series card, and I think it swings pretty effing good, to be honest with you. And it's a gold. He's probably going to go, honestly, I think in the very least he's going to go diamond. Here's his card, his life series card. Again, he's playing down to an, he's playing even, he's playing up to an 85, and again, I think he's going to go diamond, so if you're sort of like, ooh, investment, he's a guy I'd probably invest in. Now, ultimately, I could see him being a 99, but I think like, again, I it's it, it's a weird, interesting quandary uh, because of the short. I think he'd be great, but again, it kind of fills this weird thing of of it. He one, he's the reason why I think he could be is he's a young star. He's hitting the piss out of the ball. He's a fun player, and I think they want to give it to. They could give it to a young player, but ultimately, we'll see. I, I, I it's one of those ones where it's it realistically it's probably more maybe. I'm just putting in a definite possibility because of the shortstop position. And the fact that he's a good young player, and I think people really like his card. I love his swing, and I think they would give it to him. His numbers are good enough, and also I think just the power. Chicks dig long ball, right? 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 Yeah. Next player on this list is Bryson Scott. Uh, I think he leans more towards a spicy pick. I think he's done. He's heated up as of late, but when his things were rough, his things were rough. Um, for the month, he's hitting. He's got three home runs, 20 RBIs, 319 average, 435 on base, and a 556 slugging. Again, he only has his live series card to his name, so I think it fits a weird role. And again, it'd be a fun pick, a fun pick to, to get him. Do I see it necessarily? Probably not. But again, we're trying just to sort of think outside the box here. Uh, Bryson Scott's card right now is an 81 gold. And it's probably going to get up a little bit of a boosty boost here. But here's his numbers here. Do I think it warrants a 99? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but I do think his price is going up. So I do think he's going to get a little bit of a boost. Granted, it does take 13 to sort of get him to the next rush, bump him up to. We'll definitely see. I think he's a maybe pick. I don't mean to be mean to Philly fans. I just sort of think the, the timing of stuff is a little bit wonky. But we'll definitely... You can keep an eye on this one because I think it's going to be fun if they do give him some sort of something. I'm going down the line is Ellie De La Cruz. Um, I think Ellie, Ellie's in a weird spot. He just got a card. His cards are usually pretty or, or decent enough. I'm going to pick it up the pace because this is sort of going a little bit longer than I anticipated. But looking at the Ellie De La Cruz card, they did, for, for this card, they did kind of make him bad against lefties. So I don't necessarily know if his lefty skills warrant anything. Um, necessarily, but in terms of what he's done, he's done pretty good for the last month. He's batting three. He's bat batting a lot, but he's got a lot of power and a lot of stolen bases. He's definitely kind of there. I think he's sort of a maybe, but I do think kind of basing it off of this could they kind of boost it a little bit. His numbers aren't what necessarily anything eye popping in the grand scheme of things, but he has a lot of value. Five home runs, eleven RBIs, twenty steals. He's batting two forty five, four to thirty six slugging and a 366 on base. So it's probably actually sort of looking at this. It's probably going to be more of a, instead of a just got a card situation, which I think is the real thing, it's probably going to be a no, but just for the record, no, it's probably just because he got a card and it was in early April. But I think it's just a definite no. I wish it weren't because I love Ellie, but I'm just saying. I think it's going to be worse over now. Next one up, I think this one is a definite possibility, and if you're a Twins fan, get excited. It's Ryan Jeffers, because this man is on a whole other level right now, and this would be, I think this would be fascinating. For the month, he's got seven home runs, 22 RBIs, batting 321, 702 on base, slugging 394, and again, as we've been saying, do they have cards? No, P just has a live series card, which I believe is a I want to say it's a bronze to be honest with you let me look it up real quick um but he's been hitting the piss out of the ball as a catcher Ryan Jeffers he's got a silver card and let's take a look at these numbers do you think these numbers quantify anything probably not plus eight gets into a 78 he's definitely going to get upgraded he's going to get a lot more power but judging by this this car I, do I think he's a it, it's fun Absolutely, I I love it when they give it like it's the same thing with Brent Rooker. I love when they give it to guys that I think deserve it and deserve credit because they're not necessarily going to get better cards. For the love of God, give me it. Let me let me have a little bit of fun. Give me like it's the same thing with like these spicy cards. It's just like let me have it. Let me let's do something crazy. Let's do something quirky. I think it's definitely a possibility based on something like this. But again, we'll ultimately see how things sort of go. Right, moving on, moving on. 
this one, Mason Miller, I think, again, is probably a maybe, but again, it's sort of the same thing with the Ellie De La Cruz sort of thing. He got a card not too terribly long ago, um, but he did just get supercharged. I think that kind of is more of an indicator than a lot of a lot of things. I don't necessarily need to tell you how disgusting this guy is, because he's been an absolute disgusting filth monster. Um, but to take a look, here's his, this is his supercharged card. We're going to start here with the supercharged card. Let's take a look here. His supercharged card that gives him a 99. Um, if you kind of, you can see there, like, look, look at that. Like, that's pure filth. And his numbers are just getting, are disgusting. That, that's, you know, that's that. Here's his card that he did get. And this is kind of why I think he might be slightly eliminated. But, because, but we don't know. Um. Do I see them giving this a boost? A thousand percent. It's a 94. It's a plus five. But again, he's probably eliminated. But for the love of God, if they were to give it to a closer or a reliever, this is the guy. One thousand percent. This is the guy. Absolutely. Is it likely? Probably not. Last but not least, Chris Sale. I'm going to say this sort of as a maybe. I don't necessarily know if they're going to give it to all pitchers. I don't necessarily know if they're going to do a pitcher and a hitter. It's sort of the same situation. And the reason why I think he's slightly in a different position is, is I think he's a name num- name known well enough to where it more it could warrant a better card but again it it kind of it, it's a weird thing his 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 month he has five wins 41 strikeouts an ERA of 1.41 a whip of 0.75 and four quality starts again his best he does have a diamond he has a 90 from the new fate whatever new faces fresh places New fit. I don't know. Different place, same face. I don't know. Whatever this card was, and it's this one. It's an eighty-nine. Um, <laughs> it's an eighty-nine. I, you know, it'll get the job done. I. This card is kind of, you know, dirt cheap at this point. It's a ninety. I could see them giving him a ninety-nine. They've done it in the past. We'll kind of see. But again, it's sort of the thing of do they give? Do they do one pitcher? Do they one hitter? Who knows. It's Chris Sale likely to get people to lock in? Probably not. But again, we're kind of just sort of looking at it from the perspective of what's on the pie, but what's on the possibility for them? I think this is on the possibility on the table. I think there's a lot there. It's plenty. Spicy. Who doesn't like spicy? I like spicy. So those are all the players that I think we did. We did it a little bit about 30 minutes. I wish it was a little bit faster, but those are it. Did I miss anybody? Is there somebody I'm overlooking? Let me know down below. Let me know who you think your lightning player is going to be. Is it going to be Chris Sale? Is it going to be somebody else? Is there somebody I missed that's absolutely hitting the piss in the ball? Let me know. All that being said, we'll wait till Friday, and we'll see what happens. My name is Specs, and I'll see you soon in the next one.